Don't forget, for those of you out there, to Google Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement. And, of course, the Obama deception. Get them in high-quality DVD at InfoWars.com. Make copies of them. Spread them to the four winds. They're the equivalent of hand grenades in the war for the mind, unlocking people's minds out there as we blast the enemy. Casey in New York, you're on the air. Alex. Yes, Casey. Yeah, pleasure to talk to you. Uh, about the, the uh, Border Patrol checkpoints? Yes. Uh, I traveled to Vermont frequently, and back when uh, Howard Dean was the front runner for the Democratic Party, George Bush installed one of those right in the center of the state. Yeah, I know. Uh, over 100 miles in now. They just search your car, checkpoints. Yeah, this was five years ago. And, and they let the illegal aliens go. Uh, it's, it's on record. In fact, in the stimulus package, illegal aliens are exempt from having to show uh, federal-approved uh, uh, ID uh, to uh, use the money, but citizens have to. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's I, bad to be a citizen because we're known as the schmucks that will take anything. Yep, I always found it interesting that it's been coming up in the last year or so, you know, especially out west. It's gone away. They don't do it here anymore. After That's because folks refuse to go along with it. Well, for the most part, yeah, but I think mostly it was just because Howard Dean had his explosion on TV and was no longer the front runner. And as soon as that happened, it disappeared. And then we're going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House! That's yeah! it. Hey, man, good to hear from you. You know, I don't think it's bad to get fired up. See, they've conditioned us that it's bad to get fired up. And uh, I think it's good. I think it's really good. Let's go ahead and talk to Brian in Yonkers, New York. And then we're going to beat the New World Order! Ah, there you go. Let's go. Oh, my God, he got excited. Oh, what are we going to do? He may actually have testosterone. That's not allowed. Let's go ahead and talk to... I wasn't making fun of you last caller. I was making fun of those that attacked Howard Dean for that. Brian in Yonkers, New York. Brian, you're on the air. Yes, Alex. Hey, hey. how you doing? I Good. love your energy. And the Obama deception is the best, man. I can't wait for the chemtrails. To tell people what's in the air, man. Absolutely, going to make a big weather control film. Oh, I'm so excited about that, and it's waking people up. Which, so by the way, is declassified. Just the general slaves don't know it. They could tell the slaves that Texas didn't exist, and they'd go, "Alex, it's a conspiracy theory. Texas doesn't exist." <laughs> I get emails wow. saying the euro doesn't exist. I bet you believe in a European <laughs> Union. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, oh, I'm very obnoxious. Uh, get your feedback, Alex, on uh, this uh, this answering service uh, called KGB. Have you seen commercials for it? No, but I hear the CIA ads on the radio every day as they're recruiting spooks to run our lives. Oh Christ, Alex! I I, I sent them. Uh, you know, my one question was was 9/11 an inside job, and they said, "Oh, there's no proof, but some people say it is." And uh, you know. Not even like. Oh, really? They're, they're now having major university engineers. I had one of them on Friday from foreign countries like uh, Denmark come out and document that they had thermite and thermite in the buildings. They found the unexploded thermite. It's it's been found in the records. Multiple universities peer reviewed. They blew those buildings high, sky high, high sky. Absolutely, high. and you document that in 9/11 uh, truth, and that's a wonderful film as it is. The next day, I had, uh, you know, some, some freaking uh, cops at my door uh, you know, asking about incriminating evidence on my computer or something. Yeah, it's all about intimidation. Computer, man. Listen, what do you think this is, America? It's a conspiracy theory that you got free speech to give people films. You're not allowed to have freedom. That's what Al-Qaeda's trying to give you. And, and uh, we're not going to put up with it. You know, I, I mean, seriously, I've been in New York, and we got footage in... Uh, Truth Rising, where the cops come up and go, your camera's a gun, we're going to put you in, t in prison as a terrorist. You're not allowed to pro... I'm not kidding, you can't make this up. It's unbelievable. Hey, you continue with your courage, sir. You tell them it's your first... Call me back during the weekday show when we have more time and tell me the rest of the story. I want to hear from you. Ronnie, Ronnie in Spice Woods, Texas, which, according to the media, doesn't exist. Nothing exists except what the government tells you. So I have to wait for the government to tell me. I, I remember when the dollar was plunging. The media couldn't say it was plunging. They had to ask the White House press secretary, Perino, is it true the dollar's dropping? She said, I can't answer that. I'd be fired if I told you. So I have to ask the media. A media? Does Spicewoods, Texas exist? I have to ask. I have to ask. 
government, can you come over here? And I went and, 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 and clean me up. I just went to the bathroom. I need a groom here. Let's go ahead and talk to, uh, I'm sorry, folks, Ronnie in Spice Woods, Texas. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. Yes, we exist. We proceed. Also, from the planet Bob Tart. I'm sorry. I can help them borrow that. Well, that does exist, according That's to the government. <laughs> but then, well, there's two mind control events, and we all need to stand up for peace and freedom. Peace and freedom don't exist, sir. You're with Al Qaeda. But look, on 4:30, my 50th, I was thrown out of an H-E-B grocery store here locally for carrying with me, as always, my Ron Paul placard with another also placard for peace and freedom. And the pitiful store employee hounded me out of the store because of my signs, and that's the big Highway 71. But you went, uh, but you went in the store with your signs. Well, I carry them with me uh, wherever I go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, they were well, you know, I mean, I got to be honest, and I, and I, I love what you're doing. And, and, and maybe T-shirts are better. Of course, malls now are arresting people for pro-peace T-shirts. Uh, but the issue is is that uh, obviously that person recognized from the federal report that Ron Paul is terrorist. <laughs> and that, but no, I'm serious. You know, that's in the federal report. Yeah. Uh, and bumper stickers for freedom or anti-U.N. or terrorism. Uh, but it, you know, it is their private property, so it is their right to do that. You wouldn't, you know. Uh, well, I challenge them. But this is not the first time they've actually called the sheriff on me before. So, I've, I've, but it's weird. They kind of blew it off for a while after I said it on another. I don't know. I identified them on, on at the city council meeting or something. And, and it, which reminds me also at this city council meeting that very day, they also confiscated my sign. They never done that before. Oh my! Well, you got it, sir. You're not allowed to have signs. You're not allowed to hand out videos. What is this, Al-Qaeda or something? I mean, come on. A lot of terrorists calling in here. Nathan in Southern California, I hope you don't. You're calling into a show with free speech. In the future, it'll be, Granddaddy, is it true once you were allowed to say what you thought? Yes, but don't tell anybody. They'll arrest you, okay? All right. Watch out. Daddy, did we always have cameras inside our houses watching us? No, we didn't, but watch out. It's going to hear you. Nathan in Southern California, you're on the air. Hey, Alex, how you doing? I don't know. It's pretty evil to be having a talk show with free speech. I'm pretty, uh, maybe I'm a terrorist. I don't know. Hey, um, over here, we've had U.N. soldiers in our neighborhood, and they're... Oh, yeah, they're having, I forgot, a U.N. drill in Southern California, a U.N. drill right now uh, in in, um, in Arizona for gun confiscation. That was actually a yeah, part of the drill in their own admission. Uh, so how's it going with the U.N. troops? They are putting red discs on the doors, right next to the doors, and three three of the homes on our street alone. Okay, wait a minute. Now, this is different, because I know they had troops from 11 Latin American countries landed uh, for gun confiscation drills in Florida. That is confirmed, and I've been to these drills before, folks. They really train to take your guns and admit it's for America. Where are you in Southern California, and what are they doing? I'm up in the mountains in a rural area, and they have came around. And, you know, me and my boy, this is one on our, our next-door neighbor's house. Um, we were playing horseshoes there yesterday. It was not there. Today there is a red disc on the right side of their door, about the size of a half dollar. And you've seen the troops? Uh, we saw the troops in a California-exempt car um, driving in our neighborhood while me and my boy was riding our bikes on our street. Well, for those that don't know, you can Google this. Um, hold on, let me think of the exact headline. Um of one of hundreds, but this is a good one to put out because people can see this in another country in Scotland. They have Ukrainian troops. Google this, see if you can find it. Ukrainian troops scare scare Scots, and they set up mop gun confiscation drills and checkpoints. This is like five years ago, and and remember in, in Iowa a few months ago, and I had the colonel on the show. They were doing gun confiscation drills door to door, and said I was bad because I read the newspaper article on air and caused the drill to be canceled. Go out and get video of this, sir. That's amazing. Uh, let's talk to Scott in Connecticut. Probably another evil gun owner. Probably another person that uh, Homeland Security is upset about. Go ahead, Scott. Yes, uh, evil gun owner here, and greetings from the sanct uh, from the outskirts of the sanctuary city of Hartford, Connecticut. Yes. Hey, we got some sensor takers roaming around our area. Oh, great! Are they putting red markers on your door that you're evil? No, not yet. Uh, one person apparently seemed to be going door to door, but uh, a buddy of mine uh, was out putting some stuff in his car, and that person, a woman, mysteriously kind of just appeared. And he asked if he could help her and uh, said, oh, no, no, she would be back to take his information. She was just uh, sort of out canvassing her route, whatever that means. Oh, yeah, sure. 
Why do you got to canvas the route when all you need to do is walk door to door? Yeah, it's total lies. They're GPSing everybody. It's admitted. I mean, they're they're GPSing you. Send the federal SWAT teams if need be. The feds admit they're canvassing when to send their death squads in against the American people. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? I don't know. I think what we need to do is asking these people for ID. They should be ID'd from the Commerce Department, or if they start monkeying around with some GPS unit, they're obviously collecting information they're not supposed to. We Absolutely. I'm out of time. I'll be back during the week and back next Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Spread the word about this transmission. Great job, team. Folks, rediscover liberty. Get fired up about it and say, I'm not your slave!